Welcome to Adventures with a Very Small Lathe. In part one I made the outer body of the tap follower which houses the spring and the receding tip. The inner part is double-ended with one pointed end for most larger taps which are centre drilled and the other end with the centre hole for smaller taps which have a pointed end. The design also adds rigidity by retaining the end that is not in use within a through hole at the back of the tool. I began by turning the point on the pointed end to avoid the unnecessary effort of facing this end. The compound is set to 30 degrees and the lathe is running in reverse which I find is the easiest way to do this operation. From the camera's perspective it looks like I have the insert set to the wrong angle here and it's rubbing slightly, but I didn't notice while I was doing the work. I then turned down the diameter of just under half of this part to match the through hole diameter of 5mm. The rigidity of the tool depends on the diameter being a snug fit, but it also needs to move freely, so I snuck up on the right dimension and then finished it with wet and dry paper. The other end is for taps that have a pointed end instead of a centre hole. To hold that type of tap straight, the follower needs to have a tapered centre hole drilled. The turning was pretty much the same as the first part, so I'm skipping most of the detail.
I did find a problem, however. There was a 0.05mm taper to the shaft, which was probably due to the very extended part flexing due to the tool pressure. I did my best to fix the taper with the file before polishing the contact surface as I'd done with the other end. The parts were now ready to assemble. I used cheap off-the-shelf springs from a set I found on eBay. I had to use two and even together they're not really stiff enough. I'll try custom winding my own spring once I can get hold of the right material. Overall it seems to work fine, though I'm certain it would be more rigid if I was more careful with the clearances. Here's a short snippet of the video from the Watchmaker's Faceplate series of setting up the follower in the Proxon milling machine. I had to clamp the tap wrench around the round part of the tap as the square section was too short to go all the way through and the follower is much wider than the tap, but that's a problem for another video.